Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today Google released Android 15 Beta 3 and I have it here on my Pixel 8 Pro to show you each and every new change. So without further ado, let's jump in. Let's start with the system-wide search. When you go to the home settings and then go to apps list settings, now you have a new toggle called show long app names. The description says display long app names on two lines in search results and app list. So I activated the feature and when I go to my app drawer, as you see here, that my apps are now showing the full name in two separate lines. The second change is in the wallpaper and the style app. Let's say you want to set a new wallpaper from your phone's gallery or from within the app itself, you will see a brand new wallpaper setup screen. It will show you the home and lock screens in two separate tabs that you can scroll through and you can see their names here at the bottom with a new animation when you switch between them. When you tap on any, it will take you to the full screen view where you can pinch to zoom and reposition your wallpaper. Once you're happy with the changes, you can tap on the tick button. Whatever edits you apply to the wallpaper on one screen will be automatically synchronized to the other screen. I wish we had the option to separate the edits for more flexibility, but unfortunately, this is the only way for now. At the bottom of the screen, you will see the info button and the cinematic wallpaper toggle that used to be located at the top right corner. Once you tap on the set wallpaper button, you will also see a redesigned overlay card. From here, you can choose only one screen by tapping on it like this, or choose both. Previously, you used to get a list of options to choose from, but this one is much easier to understand and deal with. The third change is the new animation for the pop-up notifications, and here's a screen recording to show you how it looks. You'll notice here that the animation is a little bit more bouncy when it slides from the top, and here's how it looks, and let's give it a few seconds to show you the animation again when it hides. Change number four is the redesigned screenshot and the clipboard pop-ups. So for example, when I take a screenshot, you'll notice here that the animation looks much better than before. The screenshot will animate from the top while the buttons will animate from the bottom. And here's how it looks one more time. Also, the container now has a pill-shaped design and the buttons are rounded. And here's how the clipboard pop-up looks after the new redesign. Change number five is related to the volume controls panel. In beta 2, we used to have an expand and collapse button next to the media slider to expand and collapse the options, which is no longer the case. But once you start playing media and access the card again, it will open in a collapsed view by default, and that's when you will see the button back again. And also, if there is media playing, you will see a highlight on top of the media output switcher icon, and once you stop playing, it will disappear. Change number six is related to the toast notifications. So let me show you a quick example. Now I have my Bluetooth turned off and when I try to send this photo using QuickShare, it will ask me to turn on the Bluetooth. When I tap on the button, now I have a toast notification that will allow me to undo the action. And this is the first time to see such a notification on my Pixel phone, but only appeared after installing Android 15 Beta 3. Now let's talk about the new changes under settings. And the most exciting one is the new home app screen saver. When you go to display and then screen saver, now you have the option to choose home controls. So let me tap on preview to show you how it looks. Once you plug your phone to the charger, it will appear on your phone's screen where you can uh, uh, control your smart home devices with the ability to edit and reorder the controls the way you want. Another new feature under the display settings, when you go to the screen timeout, you will see a new toggle called adaptive timeout. The description says automatically turns off your screen if you are not using your device. I activated the feature and kept my phone on a flat surface for a long time, but it didn't make any difference. But once you cover the display, that's when it turns off the device display. So it seems like this feature is using the proximity sensor, which is not very useful in my opinion. The third and last change under display is the addition of the color contrast menu that used to appear only under the wallpaper and the style app or the accessibility options. Under sound and vibration and then vibration and haptics, the adaptive alert vibration is back again to a normal toggle like the one we have on Android 14 and sort of the updated version that we first saw in beta 2 that uses your phone's microphone and the other sensors to determine the vibration strength. Under notifications, the device and the app notifications menu item is now called notification read, reply, and control, but both work exactly the same. 
under system and then navigation mode now you have a toggle to turn off the circle to search gesture which will allow you to tap and hold on the home button or the navigation handle to start the feature so if you don't want this to happen you can simply turn off the switch so that's it when it comes to the new features now let's talk about the performance since beta 2 and the performance of android 15 is much better than the stable version of android 14 at least on my pixel 8 Pro. and with beta 3 the performance is even better i'm really impressed by how responsive is the device and how smooth are the animations when it comes to the battery so far it seems normal to me and i didn't notice any major drops in the battery life while filming this video but i will keep you posted in my follow-up videos about beta 3 and android 15 in general to tell you more about the battery life but so far it seems to be as good as the stable version when it comes to the bug fixes there is a long list of issues that google took care of with this build and you can see them now on the screen so you can take a screenshot and read them later and i'm gonna also leave the link in the description if you want to go through them yourself so that's pretty much it for today those are all the new features i wanted to show you in android 15 beta 3 please let me know in the comments if i missed anything but for now thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video